Hi everyone, Gene with Mahalo.com. This panel is pretty straightforward. Once you have a body of text in your design, the paragraph panel will help you to organize your words. Also, one of the often overlooked uses of the paragraph panel is in template creation. In a production environment, you're going to be called upon to create multiple images with similar settings. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how this panel can be a tremendous time saver. All right, so let's open up the paragraph panel. And we do that by going to the window menu and dragging down here to paragraph. Click that once. That'll bring the paragraph window to the front. Now on the surface, the paragraph only controls character alignment and justification. Uh, that is to say how words and sentences are rendered and relative to the space provided. But this turns out to be really important when you're building templates so that you can duplicate an image several times with the same settings. Now let's say that you're tasked with making a series of postcards for a new resort. Each is going to feature a different location from around the resort, but they all need to be uniform in appearance. The paragraph panel becomes a real time saver. If you set up your alignment ahead of time and then simply change the text, then every single location name will be uniform. So let's say this is called Jean's Railroad Resort, and the location here is the luxury suite in this example. Now if we were to create a brand new location text, I'm just going to delete this text. Let's say, for example, here, this other image is a different location in the resort. I'll paste that in there. If we wanted to have a new location and we just started from scratch, let's say this location is called Purple Flowers. Then we'd have to figure out the positioning and the size all over again. So sure, this one looks similar to what we had earlier. So we'll duplicate this font and then we'll apply the layer effects. Sure, it looks the same, but if we back up in our history here, we actually find out that it's completely different. And if you have several of these postcards together, then you'll notice that the location of the font is almost in an entirely different area. So the way to do this properly, that will actually save you some time. The first thing you do is you decide where you want your text aligned. In this case, I'm going to align it to the right. And then what we do is we move our text back into place. And rather than delete this text, I'm just going to duplicate it. Now I'll hide the original text and this new text I'll double click the text icon in the layer and I'll call this new area purple flowers. Do the same to the layer below it. You can see now that if we take these physical postcards and we were to shuffle through them, then the text is in exactly the same spot on the new postcard as it was on the original. This provides a more uniform experience and it's just better design. So these are your align options. You have left, center, and right align. And then right next to that, these are the options that control what a paragraph will look like. So first, let me create a whole body of text for us to work with. Then we'll take a look at our different justification options. First, we can justify left, justify center, then we can justify right. Now this basically only applies to the last line in each paragraph, as you can see each one moving. Everything else will be spaced out as evenly as possible in the area provided. Finally, we look at uh, our last option over here to the right is justify all. This next section allows you to control the margins, the indentation setting, and the space before and after a new paragraph. So we can adjust our indentation settings either by clicking and dragging the icon or by typing it right in the area provided. Uh, same with the right side margin and the indentation. I'm just gonna set this to something we can actually see here, 50. These options here are the space before each new paragraph and the space after each new paragraph. The last feature of the paragraph menu is the hyphenate checkbox. And if you look at the top sentence, you'll see a word that is split in half and hyphenated because with the justification that we have selected, it becomes too long to space it out evenly. So if we deselect hyphenate, it'll actually just switch that word to the next line rather than cutting it in half and hyphenating it. Well, that's all for our paragraph options. Uh, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.